community, there have been no changes uh, made to shooting in NBA 2K24 since the ones made at the start of season two. We encourage everyone to rely on the official channels for information about changes to uh, to on-court gameplay and updates. Cap on, cap off, cap on, cap off. The capper. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. Good Okay, man, check this out, man. As always, full disclosure, we had a ball yesterday on stream. Had a couple of streams. Uh, my OBS died, so we end up with like 1.6 thousand, 1.4, and then 1.8 on yesterday, man. Uh, 116 likes, y'all boys did your thing. Before that, we dropped the jump shot video and we dropped the uh, and we dropped the video, the game breaking glitch, you know, that's causing us some issues in 2K, man, and all this stuff. Go back and check that video out, and that's the video that we're going to be using for our uh, <laughs> for our stuff, man, because that was the last actual video that we dropped, man. And uh, this one, like we said, the game breaking glitch is killing it, and that was when people were, were getting people into the wreck and all that good stuff, man. Like I said, leave it to the 2K community to break something, man. Um, to to, to to do a glitch, explore the glitch, and all this stuff, man. Hey, my man said, hey, I have 10 cost. I say I have 10 custom sneakers. I still can't wear them in the wreck on currency. That's crazy. Like currency is absolutely insane, man. I don't, I don't, 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 don't beat my man down for it. If y'all know how to wear your stuff in the uh in the gym on old gen, hey, help my guy out, man. And then also, man, we got hey, she, she said that boy posting late night, man. That's how you love to see it, man. That's it, man. And then the top comment from that one, this just says, hey just do what you're going to do and stand on it i felt that in my soul reset everything back to day one keep the latency and the game breaking fixes uh and stand on the game was the most fun the community had on 2k gen i mean our uh, next gen to date man and he's not lying man like i said man there was some stuff wrong with it man and i know we complained about a lot of stuff and all this stuff man but i'm telling you those first couple of days of 2k24 were the some of the most fun i had in 2k period man and uh like i said man y'all let me know if y'all had fun the first couple of days and then after the first patch it was like eh but then i still was having a lot of fun and then it's like they put up a, another couple patches in there and just control and just destroyed the whole thing because that's how i be feeling sometimes man but it is what it is man i made new bills i'm having a a lot of fun on the game and i'm still with it but it is getting quite an annoying man and with all that out of the way man i just want to say thank y'all for hitting the like button let's try to get to 300 likes y'all get the 300 likes i'm as soon as this video hit 300 likes we gonna stream man you watching the video you know you like it let's get the 800 let's get a thousand likes i know y'all can come i ain't put up a video in a couple of days i know your like hand ain't ain't it, it ain't tired man just hit the like button let's get a thousand likes and with all that out of the way yes sir What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. Like we said, game, speaking of game, breaking glitches, man, this is my guy. Uh, hey, listen, 2K is striking glitches now, and this, this is, uh, shoot, you know my guy, shoot, man. He said, I was just telling people to spam Sunset Park uh, for VC. What in the world? What should I do? And uh, like you said, man, when you, catch that, when you catch that strike like that, and like you said, he just showed right there, he, he got a strike, it expires uh in 87 days you catch one of those for three months bro i i'm not gonna lie to y'all youtube ain't playing with y'all about these strikes bro i caught a strike on my other channel where i do the Deion sanders content i caught a strike bro for um wearing a t-shirt that somebody like and it was, it was it was like it's copyright so you can't wear that and it was just like it was nothing but except for the doggone you know people just mad because because um because you know your channel doing better than theirs man they just they really fired at me on that one man it was absolutely insane i was like uh um yeah it, it, it was not cool but hey it was what it was but i didn't even know you could catch a copy you can catch a copyright strike for the craziest stuff in this uh in this in this community or, or just on youtube in general so make sure y'all be careful to govern yourselves accordingly speaking of speaking of uh of crazy stuff man it's my boy man man grind hard man he just said hey man dang the tables turned now running clout chasing they told him to have fun and be home by 11 p.m and so what they were talking about was this right here you know neon was going out with somebody man i just said neon uh neon said my life is complete as hey he going out with somebody man so i guess he's doing the real e dates or whatever it is absolutely insane that neon neon would been doing this thing since about what about five about eight years or something so he got to be 2022 20, or something like that and he's been doing it since he was like 15 and it's crazy that he's able to keep this persona going but hey bro he got the road joint man hey we 
might have to get them joints, man. Hey, I'm gonna go. I might go get them from Best Buy, my guy. And we gonna test them things out right there, man. But hey, he out there with a chick, man. So like you said, my how to change tables have turned. It used to be running. Used to say running. Used to be saying, <laughs> "That's not my kid. That's not my kid." And now it goes to shut the f up. Shut the f up, boy. Hey, hey, Ruddy go clout chase. If one thing he gonna do, he clout chase. But hey, man, he's a marketing genius. That's what he's supposed to be doing. And speaking of his marketing genius, this is what he did on the other day. And they were talking about, okay, let's have a vote. Uh, which NBA 2K is the OG 2K? Because Ruddy put out this say uh, NBA 2K OG. And what more or less what they were saying is Fortnite put out their OG map. And so Ronnie was like, hey, man. Yeah, you know, ever the marketing genius that he is, and that's why he makes all the big bucks and, and never misses opportunity to push the game out there through any medium possible. He just, he put out a tweet and it got almost a million views. And, uh, you know, like I said, Josh said, which one is the OG? We uh, we know most people think that uh, 2K16 is the OG. Um, I think 2K, 2K16 or 20, if I had to go back to one, I'm going to back to 2K20 and I'm putting interior on my lock. Uh, that, that was the first year that we found out that you really need to be putting interior on your locker. You're going to get hop step to sleep. And then they said, hey, man, we need, uh, the cold man said, we need 2K servers on. And uh, Swante says, you really weird for even baiting, baiting like this, knowing that there's no chance that y'all are going to do it. Hey, Grinding said, hey, like for 17 servers. And then Garcia says, nah, running trolling. Uh, w, this one gotta be or what have you like that so hey man it's trolling he's trolling man it is it is what it is so a lot of people want to see it but like i said it's nostalgia we we, we think it's better than what it was bro but let's be real bro like there's a lot of issues and that's why we're going forward we just a hey, backward never forward ever man that's where we're going i get it i do understand that a lot of people did enjoy it and had a lot of fun but just because that's the 2k that you had the most fun on or you know that's what's your most popularity don't mean it was the best one i probably had my most success on 2k17 and uh that was my most popularity i had videos going crazy it was everywhere but i, I don't want to go back to that because i know that that is an inferior product compared to this game and uh people just gonna hop step you to sleep hold on one second Shit out here. You dog all right. That's what we do, man. People try to hop step you to sleep. You try to hop step me to sleep. That's what I'm gonna do right now for you. But anyway, hey. So then, check this out, man. So this is something that people, a lot of, a lot of people say, and uh, this is something that Don Work replied to. And uh, the actual, the actual tweet was this. Uh, he just says, "Hey, we've talked about it for years. Uh, end of day, end of the day. So, so long, uh, so long as we keep spending money, nothing's gonna change. More or less like that. So that's what he was. That's more or less what he was saying. And then Cam comes and says, "Hey, the problem is that change needs to start with the content creators. No, sir, don't tell me what I need to do ever in your life. I don't even care if it's over Twitter or nothing. Don't you don't ever tell another man what they need to do." You say the change need to start with the content creators. No, change need to start with you, sir. There are more of y'all than there are of us, even though we can influence. It's not, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody, it's 10 million people that bought the game. It ain't 10, ain't nobody videos getting 10 million views. So it can't start with the content creators. It has to start with you all who are the, the non-vocal majority speaking with your wallets rather than the, mo the vocal minority we just say something. See, when we say something, we can get some things changed, but the big stuff, that's little bitty itty potatoes. They're not going to change the big stuff until you guys uh, do whatever. But anyway, but the content creators, uh, we say content creator, but the content creators make, make money off of it. Anyway, if you want to see change, you make your own change. Don't pass the buck to somebody else. That's all. Uh, content creators make money off of it, so it won't happen. What we need is some big voices to come together to call for a legitimate boycott of the game until the lower until they lower the prices who who gonna not play 2k it's like my, my, my boy web and said who ain't got no bitches? who not gonna play 2k bro that's that it's that, 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 a nice dream baby but it'll never happen and then down work just so eloquently put it, he said hey one thing about me I, if i feel something isn't worth my money i simply don't do business exactly hey i don't believe in telling someone they are charging too much for their products and services. It's their product. They determine its worth. Uh, wasn't 2K the first of uh, the first or one of the uh, first competitors to start charging 70 for the base game? Uh, that that should tell you everything. That be they believe that they are providing an elite product slash experience. Whether you spend your money or not determines if you agree exactly and that's exactly what we're saying man it can't we can't start with us man we can we can say something but 2k really it's like what's the name said like dang did like dang said we, we're laughing at you we really all laughing at you because uh until they see some change or they see some bottom lines 
change, they, they're not gonna say nothing. And, I mean, and like I said, you can even come at 2K with irrefutable evidence and now uh, they still not gonna rock with it. And this is what NBA 2K Lab was saying. This is the thing that put the, the 2K community into a frenzy today. It just said no meter versus, uh, no meter versus uh, meter, uh, you know, green window size increase, uh, you know, after the patch. And this is what they're saying, pre-patch, 20%. What is it? 20%? And then after uh, post-patch, 3%? That's exactly what it is, man. The increased green window size, man. It's just one of those things where 2K has made a change, didn't tell us anything, and then, you know, they go and say, hey, will, will more people start using the shot meter? It's only three. 20% is actually significant. Uh, the 20% larger green window size is significant. A 3% larger uh, green window size is negligible. And I think that they did that because they, like I said, they constantly tune in the green window. They constantly want to have the shot numbers where they are. And they realize that no matter what they do, well, shoot, if it's still a 20% boost, they're gonna hit that green window and it's not gonna be as hard to find. So let's say if a green window, if a green window is is 100, you know, meters, then you just made it 120 meters, whether it's where, if it's 3% is 100 meters, it's a, you know, so it's a five, you know, 20% is like, you know, that's a fifth of the way of whatever it is. A fifth of anything is actually pretty, pretty good. And if if was a fifth, we'll all be drunk. But y'all understand what I'm saying though. A fifth of anything is is gonna be significant. You know, it's 20 bucks or whatever out of a hundred hundred dollars or something like that. So, you know, a one dollar out of five. So that's that's gonna be significant, but you know, a third, not even a third, like three percent. That, that is absolutely crazy, man. And some people were asking, how do they do this? This is what Bash Plug said. He said, hey, that is, uh, that's insane. I would use cold Bash Plug. Oh, bro, stop with that, man. He said, hey, and so 2K Lab Guru says, hey, where did you get the, uh, where did you get that 3% increase? 3% uh, increase. Well, it's not increase. It's the same thing. Uh, the, that is only 3%. Uh, is there, is that at the edges where, where the make percentage, you know, whatever, uh, is the major change that to that but anyway man he trying to ask some other stuff man nobody don't care about this stuff man listen man the way that they test it out is really easy i could i could just tell you that like it's really intuitive if you actually think about it but most people don't think so it doesn't matter this is what they did this is our 2k lab uh knowing how they test their things this is how they did it 2k labs test they find the green window they find the first makeable green and then they increase it until they find the last makeable green but that you can make consistently right and then uh, from that, so, or they just find the green and then they go this way and then they go that way until until you're no longer greening. So they push toward the edges until you're no longer greening. Once they're no longer greening uh, with the milliseconds, that's how they determine the size of the green window. So with the actual meter up there, it was a certain number. And then now it's, uh, you know, they took the meter off and then it was wider, right? And then now they tested it and it's only a 3%. And that could be actually mean it's actually the absolute same because 3% is negligible. And uh, some people probably really, probably really thinking like, like how could you notice it? Bro, you noticed that. If you play this game, you notice that. I definitely notice it because I'm not like, I'm, I'm a early green window shooter. I shoot early in the green window. So if you mess with it at all, I'm gonna know. And I notice, why do you think that we, we've been saying things such as, Wow, um, so you know, if it's twenty percent bigger, it's not at the beginning or the end. It's just going to be ten. They probably put it up ten percent. You know, ten percent on either side. So why do you think some people are saying things now, such as, uh, you know, wow, uh, set point feels like push because if they shrink the green window twenty percent on either side or twenty percent at the head, now you have to hold it longer in order to enter the green window. So let's say the green window started at 50 milliseconds and it ended at 80. Now it starts at 60 and it ends at 70. So you see what I'm saying? I mean, that's, just, that's just a number, Let, you know, fit five, you know, uh, we know that's not, uh, uh, we know that's not a fifth of, we know that's not 20%, but we just throwing a number out there, just 10 on each side. So let's say, yeah. And, and so if it, if it began at 50, ends at 80 and now it begins at 60 and ends at 10. Of course, somebody's like myself that shoots on set point that is a early green window releaser. I'm gonna feel that immediately. If you release toward the middle of the green window and you're very precise with that, you probably won't see it at all. You probably won't even notice it. But somebody like myself, I'm gonna notice it instantly because I've always been, as soon as I can let it go, that's what I've always done. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an early green window uh, releaser. So 
with that being the case i'm gonna notice it instantly and that's why i feel like i knew something had changed because over the last few days, my shot has not been as consistent and I'm feeling like I'm having to hold it longer. Whereas I used to just let it go when it hit the head. Now I gotta let it hit the head and set for a second and let it go. And it's nothing that I've not been able to adjust to, but I'm just saying that, hold on a second. It's nothing that I've not been able to adjust to. That's just saying that, uh, that I, I, it's something that I noticed that I needed to adjust to. And so 2K, 2K came out, bro, 2K came out and said this in the Discord and they tweeted it out because they don't want to believe it, man. They just say, hey, community, there have been no changes uh, made to shooting in NBA 2K24 since the ones made at the start of season two. We encourage everyone to rely on the official channels for information about changes to, uh, to on-court gameplay and updates. Cap on. Cap off, cap on, cap off, the capper. Are y'all trying to tell me that y'all think that we believe that y'all don't make no type of changes when we go into the game and we play the game every day way too much anything just like the steals. The steals is almost gone now. They're not gone, but they are significantly dialed back. Do you understand what I'm saying? So even if you're poking it out, sometimes you're not getting it. And a lot of times, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm not even getting animations sometimes. I'm hitting the steal button when I should. He ain't even doing nothing. Let me know if y'all experiencing the same thing. I'm not saying that you're not still getting steals at a good rate. What I am saying though is that they 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 they've been touched as well. You think we ain't noticed that? You think well, yeah, we didn't notice that just like we didn't notice that uh that the uh layups when you turn off when you turn the 2k lab did this too i guess they lying about this too uh with the i said this over the weekend just by myself this is just observation we don't need y'all channels for observation i don't need your permission to use my eyes i don't so when i tell you that i'm seeing people turn off their layup time there was a time where layup timing was king if you turned it off then if you turned, then they, they they switched it right, and you were making fewer because my dog Mad Dog was making fewer of them when when he had his layup time and off. In the beginning, he was making everything with layup time and off. Then they made a small change, and he made significantly fewer. And then we thought they were gonna stick with that, and over the weekend they turned it back up, and now you're making significantly more and getting all the flavor layups uh, layups with uh, with with layup timing being off when they said that it would be an advantage to have your layup timing on so don't talk to me about things changing and y'all ain't telling nobody <laughs> if we didn't tell you that it didn't change shut the fuck up shut the fuck up what do you think we are children we don't need to be spoon fed if you're playing the game and you play this game at any type of level you've noticed the things that i've just told you and y'all probably don't even know like if you're a casual player or something like that super casual and you don't really care about stuff like that you probably don't know or you don't know this or you just don't know why it's happening but i am telling you that things in this game have been changing and those things are among it tell me you haven't noticed more people turning off their layup time and, and making crazy contested layups over y'all and now you know what i'm saying I, I i don't know man but let me know what y'all think now in the comment section man they gotta stop this man like they, they you make something you change stuff we just need to know about it we don't even care like if i buy something and you and you change it i would just like to know or something or at least just uh, at least just just don't say nothing at all if you change it just don't say nothing at all stop coming out with this rhetoric about y'all not changing nothing because it's gonna make you look incompetent because we know something changed but now we're just thinking that y'all changed it and it was inadvertent so if we think that you changed it and it was inadvertent then we're gonna start to doubt your we're gonna start to have doubts about your competency to do your job that's what we're going to do imagine us going to work and 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 somebody changed something at our job. Somebody turned the switch off and I can't tell them why that switch went off. I just know it went off. I don't know why it went off. Now, isn't the customer gonna start to doubt my competency to, to monitor their networks? Absolutely. What if, what, what if you, you driving a car and you had your tires changed and the tires just blow off and then somebody's like, I don't know why it happened. Then aren't you going to doubt that? So it's the same thing with y'all, man. We gotta have to call 2K accountable and stuff like that, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Has nothing changed? Do y'all think the green window shrunk? Have the steals changed? And all those layups with no, with no, cont uh, with no shot or uh, with no meter layups or no uh, timing layups going in an alarming rate. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'll holler at y'all next time till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Guys, please. Guys, please.